Hi, fourth graders. Believe it or not, we have made it to the end of our book, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. You will get to read your last chapter today, and I so hope you have enjoyed it as much as we have. Um, so today, we're really going to focus on summarizing. And when we summarize, that means that we are retelling the events of the story using pieces from the text. And so we've talked about this so far this year several times, but to remember and refresh our memories, when we retell or summarize, we are thinking about the main events of a story and we tell those in a shorter version in our own words. So it's hard sometimes fourth graders to pick out those important details and not tell every little bit of the story. But if we did that, we should just tell the person to go read the book. So when someone asks you for a summary, one way we can remember those main events and details is to use this strategy, somebody wanted, but so then. And so we'll practice that today with our story. And when we think about each one of those sections, we can ask ourselves a few questions. So for example, when we get to our somebody, we should think about the main characters in the story. And we can really think about this story is mostly about these people or one person. So for example, if I'm thinking about the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, I really don't need to mention the professor in a summary or a retell. My story doesn't tell me much about him. He is not one of my main characters, so I would not include him in a summary. Okay. Then I move on and I think, what did that somebody want? Somebody wanted. What did they want? What were they trying to do in the story? But this is when that problem comes in. All stories have a problem. Something happens that prevented our characters from doing what they wanted. And so I'm going to think about that event. So, so far, I've thought about who, what did they want, what were they trying to do, and then what happened that stopped them from doing what they wanted. Somebody wanted, but so, now here's where we try to solve the problem. What did they do to try and solve the problem? This happened, this event happened, so they did this, okay? And then the last piece of our summary is a then. How did our story end? What event or events took place that really resolved the problem or wrapped up the story? So fourth graders, I'm thinking about five things. Not every detail from my story, not every little piece, although I know when you get to read a good, good story, you are eager and you want to tell everybody all about it. And that's wonderful. That tells us that you love it. But we have to remember and to pare it down to just those really important main events. And thinking through somebody wanted, but so then helps us to do that. And so let's change our gears a little bit and be more specific as we look at our somebody wanted, but so then. So when we think about our somebody, in our story, we've really focused in on the Pevensey siblings. So those would be Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy. They are our main characters. Our story really revolves and focuses on those four characters, those siblings, brothers and sisters. Okay. Now, as I was thinking through about our story and I was trying to decide what did they want? Well, I can say how they were exploring and they were playing hide and seek and they were trying to fill their busy their day to do something when it was raining. But you know what, friends, those details are not necessary. But I can also think, oh, what did they want to do? They wanted to explore this new land they discovered inside the wardrobe. Didn't they want to do that? As they walked in, weren't they feeling very inquisitive? That was our new vocabulary word we talked a lot about. And so they were hoping to do some exploring as they're inside this new land they called Narnia. So somebody, and this is what they wanted. But they soon learned, right? They soon learned that the whole land of Narnia was under a spell by the White Witch. Now, I did not have every little detail about Mr. Tumnus and the beavers and how they came to find out about this spell. 
I just simply included what the problem was. Narnia was under a spell by the White Witch. And so, what did our characters, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, do to try and solve the problem of, this, of Narnia being under a spell? Well, they made friends with creatures who led them to Aslan, who would restore Narnia. Again, did I include every detail from our story about those creatures and what led them there? No, my summary would be pages and pages and pages long. Okay, but I included the important parts. The most important detail is that they made friends and then they went to Aslan. He was a big character we needed to include. And Aslan would restore Narnia and fix it. So somebody wanted but was the problem, so they made friends. And then, now here's the part, friends, where I'm not going to tell you because I want you to finish up that last then statement. I know you have one more chapter to read of our story and I would hate to spoil that for you. And so today, after you read and you finish up reading our story, you've read chapter 17, I want you to fill in how is our story ending? What is the resolution and the fix to all the problems? And it has something to do with Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy. Okay. So what do they do to help Aslan restore Narnia? So that's part one of your assignment today is to finish up the then. After that, you know what, friends, we can't just leave these little blips in, in these sentences that don't really go together. And so your last job is to put all of our summary together into one complete paragraph. And you can use the words, somebody wanted but so then. So I might start and say, in the story, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, the Pevensey siblings wanted to explore a new land from inside a wardrobe, period. So I included my first two pieces. I told my somebody and I said what they wanted. Then in another sentence, I'll go on and go, but they realized that the whole land was under a terrible spell by the white witch, period. So Peter, Susan, Lucy, and Edmund, and I would continue on, and I'm making my one nice paragraph of a summary. Friends, it shouldn't be longer than five sentences, and so it shouldn't be too tricky to put your summary together. So two things today for you to finish up. Fill in that blank box on the previous screen for our then. How did our story end? And I hope you enjoy the ending of our story. And then you're going to complete and re Create one whole paragraph of a whole summary. Somebody wanted, but so then. Good luck and submit that to Seesaw when you finish.